Today, we're at a little known park in the mountains east of San Diego near Julian, California, where you can find some amazing views and a memorial to one of the worst firefighting disasters in American history. Before heading over to the Naha Memorial Park, we're stopping at Dudley's Bakery in Santa Isabel, which has been around since 1963. And it is an amazing place. We're gonna grab some lunch and take it over to the park. So we've gone about three miles from Santa Isabel to Inaha Memorial Park, which memorializes one of the worst firefighting disasters in American history and an incident that changed American firefighting forever. The actual firefighter memorial is right behind me and we'll take a look at that in just a minute. But despite being on Highway 78, 79, which are fairly popular highways in the area, I don't think a lot of people know about this park or the incident that led to its creation. It's a Saturday afternoon right now on a beautiful day, and there is no one here but us. So let's take a look at the memorial itself, then we'll take a look around the park, see what there is here. I know there's one hiking trail, and also the San Diego River starts right about here. So we'll take a look around and uh, explore the Inaha Memorial Park. This four foot tall stone monument memorializes 11 firefighters who were killed fighting the Inaha Fire on November 25, 1956. It is still the ninth deadliest forest fire for firefighters in U.S. history and third deadliest in California. The fire started the day before when a local 16-year-old threw a match in the grass because he wanted to see if it would burn. Because of several years of dry conditions and strong winds that day, the fire spread quickly. The fire had burned 25,000 acres by evening. The next day, a team was working to clear brush near the fire to help slow its advance, when some 40 acres of land erupted in what is known as a flashover. Several of the crew escaped, but 11 men, a prison guard, three members of a night firefighting crew, and seven members of an inmate honor camp were killed. The investigation into the incident helped create the 10 standard fire orders, a set of guidelines for firefighter behavior, fire line safety, and organizational control that are still taught to firefighters today. This memorial was dedicated one year to the day after the men were killed, and the park and its hiking trail were built by inmates from the Viejas Honor Camp, the same camp where eight of those who were killed hailed from. You can kind of see how close the park is to Highway 78, 79. And here's the park's picnic area. Some really nice shady picnic spots. And I'm surprised there's not really one here, despite it being a Saturday and being such a beautiful day. And there's one nature trail at the park, though from what I've heard, there are some pretty stunning views to be had on what is supposed to be a fairly easy trail. So let's uh, head on the trail and take a look. The riverbed below us is the same area where the firefighters were killed during the Anaha fire. Wow, check out the views from here. This is absolutely gorgeous. Now in the valley below us, that's where the San Diego River begins. The San Diego River actually gets pretty big once it heads through San Diego's Mission Valley and hits the Pacific Ocean. But none of the water here is actually gonna make it to the Pacific Ocean. It's all gonna get captured by the El Capitan Reservoir, which is about 13 miles from here. Now that we've made it up the mountain and around the other side, you can see the town of San Isabel below us, which is where you'll find Dudley's Bakery, where we started this video. Now this is kind of interesting. We've come across a few of these numbered signs. This one's number six. Now I'm not sure what number six is referring to because the sign at the beginning of the trail only listed 
numbers one and two on it. We're almost back to the parking area. And this was a fairly easy hike, probably less than a mile in total, with a little bit of elevation gain at the beginning, but nothing too severe. But the rewards you get with the views are absolutely worth it. So that's our look at Anaha Memorial Park. If you find yourself in the area, it's definitely worth stopping, spending a half hour and doing the nature trail just to get a look at some amazing views. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next week.